What's up guys, welcome to your 28th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be creating um, just a basic array table to show you guys visually the index and value of each array. So let's go ahead and just make um, a header for our table uh, using a system out print line uh, statement. And I'm just going to put index and then put a tab. And backslash t is just a tab, it's like five spaces or something. Uh, I didn't feel like typing five spaces because I'm lazy. Just put backslash t, then put some value. Let me show you guys what this is real quick. Uh, this gives you this index of value, and that's the header for our table. So now we have a header. I can go ahead and enlist the index and value of each array. But before we do that, we need an array, of course. So I'm going to make an integer array called Bucky, and I'm going to use that uh, array initializer that we used last time. And go ahead and add like five or six values or something. Uh, add like 32, 18, uh, 54, and 2. It doesn't really matter how many values you add, as you'll see why later on. But go ahead and make an array and put some values in there. It doesn't really matter what they are or what how many you have. Next, let's go ahead and make a for loop to loop through each index of our array. So let's go ahead and press 4. And we want it to start... Let's make a counter variable before I keep talking. We want it to start at zero because our array, our first index of our array is zero. Even though it might have six elements in it or five, the first one is the zeroth index. And you'll see why this is later on. But And then the next thing you want to do is give it how long do you want to go. Well, as long as it's less than however, you, however many are in your array. And this brings me to another point. Every time you make an array, your computer knows how many objects are in that array. And it stores it in something called the name of your array dot length. And the only thing that's going to change in this is the first one. Whatever you named your array dot length is, would be in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So counter is less than 5. But if your array changes, you don't have to change this. So anytime you put your array name dot length, that gives you the length of your array. It's built into Java. It's a pretty cool function. And now let's just make it increment by one. And now that we have our for loop looping through um, five times beginning at zero, we can begin to use this. So let's go ahead and make a print statement out print line. Did I type it right? Hopefully. And the first thing we want to output is the counter. And what the counter is going to resemble is our index. It starts at 0 and it goes to 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is going to resemble the index. So this counter has the exact same value as the index. Next, let's go ahead and just put a tab because I'm too lazy to put a bunch of spaces. And now our last value we want to enter, and this is going to be under the value. Um, tab of our table we want to enter the value of the array so Bucky and in here we have the index which is going to be counter so let me run this and let me show you guys what this does hopefully I don't have any errors and I don't so here's what it does as you can see we have built a nice little table right here that shows us what index of our array is and what the value is so um, Bucky 0 equals 32, 1, 12, and so on. Now, as you can see, Bucky 0 equals 32, 1, 12, 2, 18, 354, 4, 2. And that's what this table did down here. There you go. Now, let me show you guys or explain to you guys one last time why this works. The first thing we needed to do was create a header. This is just so to make it look pretty, pretty much. The next thing we did was create an array initializer, and I taught you guys how to do this in the last tutorial. The next thing we did was make a for loop, and key here is you need to start at zero, and this is because your first index starts at zero, so that's where we want this to start. As you can see right here, index starts at zero. After that, what you did is enter a maximum for how far you want your counter to go. And your maximum depends on how big your um, array is. And you can get this by the special length thing I told you about. 
and of course you want to go go through it one at a time after that you just output it on the screen counter which was the index which was cycled 0 through 4 this thing which just gave you a bunch of spaces in between and Bucky and then the counter inside it or the subscript inside it and whenever you did this it reference say you reference Bucky 1 it would give you this value Bucky 2 this value Bucky 3 Bucky 4 Bucky 0 so that is how you build a basic table to um, it pretty much is just a nice visual so you can see the indexes and values of your arrays so that's pretty much all that does and I hope you understood that at least a little bit so um, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in next tutorial